My, uh, my situation was a little bit unique. Um, I had my first breast augmentation about 10 years ago, and it was originally the saline implants. It was before the silicone implants were even back out on the market. And I had a little bit of problems with my right side. Um, either the pocket was made too big or um, I had a bottom out. And it, it just wasn't right for the past 10 years. I had received second opinions from my original doctor who uh, I didn't find took the situation too lightly. I think he was a little bit on the offensive side about it and uh, went for multiple second opinions um, up north and all of this did happen up north before I moved down to Florida. Um, I received a couple second opinions on it down here. Um, still wasn't really ready to go through with the process until one day I was in the gym with my husband and my implant fully ruptured. So at that point, I knew I needed to find somebody fast and I also needed to find somebody that was going to be able to do reconstruction um, or a little bit of reconstruction on my right side. So I ended up calling pretty much everybody I knew that day um, to get recommendations and um, had already previously seen a couple other doctors down here so I knew um, that I didn't want to go to them for this and was recommended to Dr. Mobley. He was the first person I went to after this situation happened and he ended up being the last person I went to after this situation happened. So um, during the first visit he came in and I was already set on getting saline implants again. I did not want silicon implants. I was afraid to get them and um, he came in and fully educated me on everything, really, really put my mind at ease. Um, he was a human being, did not treat you like you were just a number. He uh, had many ways of explaining why the saline would not work out for me as much as the silicone would. So in this process, I finally felt like I had a doctor who was listening to me. Um, I told him about my previous experiences with my first opinion, second opinions, what happened in the first place. And he went through explaining to me why that could have happened. It wasn't from working out, which I was really nervous about because I'm a very active person. And, um, and the new solutions that could be done to fix that situation. And, how he could prevent it from happening again. So when I first met Dr. Mobley, um, he was very personable and easy to talk to and easy to ask questions. Sometimes you get a plastic surgeon that walks in and they put up a wall between you and the patient if that means anything. You, you can't really or you don't feel like you can really ask the questions that you want to ask and get down to nitty gritty details about the situation that you have. He really, I want to say, took scientific matters and made them into um, a consultation where I could understand it and explain to me um, exactly how he would be able to um, fix my situation and align it with what my goals were. So. Um, Immediately after the consultation, I really knew that he was the one that I wanted to go with for this and was surprised that he was the first person I saw after this and was really happy that I didn't have to see anyone else because I needed something done soon. So my surgery was in the afternoon and um, the only thing I didn't like about it was because I couldn't eat in the morning, but that's completely fine. Um, my husband um, took me, dropped me off at the office, and um, I was welcomed there, uh, made very comfortable. Um, wasn't actually, it's crazy because you're not treated like you're going into surgery, like people are trying to pity you. You're treated to, make, to be made very comfortable. So um, went in, I think Dr. Mobley had just finished eating lunch, he came in. Um, his interaction just in general with the other nurses and talking to them about, you know, what they did over the weekend, you know, just making you feel at ease. You can tell he's a family guy, he was talking about his family, um, talking with me about it, including me in the conversation, not like they were just having a conversation and I was just sitting here like, hello. So it was definitely a really good experience going into surgery. Um, the nurses were all great, um, he was great, and um, came out into recovery and it was like, it didn't even happen. 
So, talking about the saline versus silicone, I did do a lot of research uh, at home on my own, uh, as well as talking to Dr. Mobley in the office, and it has come such a long way. I mean, I was set on getting silicone again, was not going to even, I mean saline, was not even going to consider silicone until I talked to Dr. Mobley about it. And it really has come a long way. It's less prone to rupture. It's less prone to bottom out like my first situation. And there's no rippling. And it does not feel like you have a foreign object in your body. It really feels like it's natural. Um, and it's so different. It's night and day from saline. Um, another thing that I noticed is um, the new silicon gen gel implants do not leak like the old silicone implants did. I was under the impression that it was going to be the same type of silicone that was coming back on the market. It's not. You literally, if it were to break, it would literally not even be a drop that would come out because of the um, type of silicone gel that is used. So um, that is really what helped me make my decision and move towards the silicone. So my recovery, I want to say, since it was my second breast augmentation, was not as bad as my first. Um, however, I was not as active after my first breast augmentation than I was during this one. So I was terrified about getting back into the gym. I'm, um, I do CrossFit four days a week, and I'm doing things that I never did before in my entire life. So my, one of my biggest fears was, am I going to still be able to do all that after I have this done? So. Um, I talked to Dr. Mobley extensively about that. Um, so day one, I felt, you know, just tired really after surgery. I just stayed on top of um, the medications that he gave me afterwards until I didn't need them anymore. And um, went for my first consultation um, or post-surgery um, consultation with him. And then he told me it was going to take probably about originally to get back into the gym. He said a month. But to do some of the certain movements that I talked to him about, which was great because I was saying, what about this, what about that, what about this, he said six weeks. So um, getting back into the gym was, um, was definitely, it was weird after being off for a month. Um, I was able to do certain things and then certain other things I can tell we're not quite ready to do yet, but now it's, um, it's unbelievable what muscle memory can do and how you really do not have to have any fear after having a surgery like this, even with the reconstruction um, side point that I had um, about getting back into the gym and doing what you were doing before. So because of the fact that I went through, um, over the past 10 years, probably seven different second opinions, um, really couldn't find that doctor that I made the connection with, and um, until I found Dr. Mobley, and I was very lucky to find him, would Anyone considering this, I would not hesitate to say his name because he, um, he has totally changed around where I was 10 years ago um, from my satisfaction from my surgery and so forth. Um, he's very, very personable. You are treated like you are one-on-one -on -one with him every single time you go in. He's a very busy doctor. He's been a top doctor for many years now and has many patients, but always, always, always when he is face-to-face -face with you, um, all eyes are on you, and it's about you and your situation. Um, he always makes sure that the turnout is going to be what you want. Um, he makes that clear and talks to you about it and makes sure, you know, bottom line, this is what we're going to do um, without changing your mind, um, just so he knows that we're set and we're good to go. So, I, Dr. Mobley definitely treats you like you are his only patient at the time that you're seeing him. He has many patients, he's been a top, top doctor for years, especially in my situation. Um, spent a lot of time with me making sure that um, we were gonna, number one, get to the goal that I wanted to get to, um, and number two, the education on, I did end up moving to a silicone implant from a saline implant and could not be happier. So um, it is a lot safer now. Um, it's amazing, even the nurses were showing me um, the ones that they had in the office and, and so forth. So definitely a lot of education, which is very important and not just straight flat answers from your surgeon. Um, and the fact that you are not treated like a number, not one bit.